Welcome to Chamber Chats, a weekly series by the West Monroe West Washita Chamber of Commerce highlighting our valued members. As always, find out more about the Chamber and our members online at westmonroechamber.org. And now, this week's episode of West Monroe West Washita Chamber Chats. Everyone, this is another episode of Chamber Chats with the West Monroe West Washtenaw Chamber of Commerce at Louisiana Delta Community College. This week, we're so excited to have Bob with Louisiana Purchase Council. Council. I Boy almost Scouts. got it of Boy Scouts. <laughs> so, so tell us about the Boy Scouts. It's it's not the same Boy Scouts that we might think we know, right? So, you know, us. it's it's funny in a lot of ways. It is right, but we also adapt with the times and, and yeah. You know, we're, we serve families, so we need to change with the times to make sure we're serving them. The best right, way. right. And that's that's through giving uh, young men and women mm -hmm. uh, skills, uh, being good mentors, and giving them just true life examples to live by. Right. So so tell, tell a little bit more about, now there's multiple levels, mm -hmm. right? So tell, tell, tell about the levels of scouting. So we start now in kindergarten with oh, wow. the Lions program. So we have Cub Scouts, which is K through five. Okay. And that serves boys and girls. But even before that, you have a program in, in younger, younger kids. Just ki kindergarten. Yeah, wow. Well, it's part of Cub Scouts. So it's, it's kind of an introductory program okay. for Cub Scouts. Ease them in a little bit. And then you have Cub Scouts. Right. And then... Then they cross over to Scouts BSA, the troops. So that's right. for uh, middle school and high school. And we have both girl troops and boy troops now. Oh, wow. Yeah. So tell us about the council itself, geographically and then its composition. So we serve 20 parishes in northeast and central Louisiana. Wow, so that's area. huge. Mm -hmm. And you go all the way south to Weir. Uh, Allen Parish. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. So you you go pretty far south. Right. So, But you're not from here. We we got, mm -hmm. got the luxury of importing you. So where were you previously? Well, I'm originally from Cincinnati, but okay. I served, uh, I've been in scouting for 20 years now as a professional. Started in Albany, New York then Western Massachusetts, and more recently, Washington, D.C. But your scouting experience even is before that. you In Cincinnati. Yeah, yeah but as a, as a young person. Right, right. So I started in first grade as a oh, tiger wow. all the way up to Eagle. That's, mm -hmm. that's amazing. So what of those experiences do you, do you hope to pay forward now? Uh, you know, it, it, and the reason I came back to scouting and, and do this so passionately as a profession is you know, I was able to do things as a youth that I wouldn't have been able to do right. otherwise. Just a lot of the high adventure trips, a lot of the confidence that it helped build in me, mm -hmm. uh, the leadership skills, all that sticks with you all the rest of your life. Right. And so something that we have in common is, is both Eagle Scouts. That's right. And, and so, like, I, I truly think that that was a pivotal shift in my life um, to being a little more confident, to finding my own voice, um, because I was given a leadership role. And, and among my peers until that point, I was pretty shy. So mm -hmm. it, it really Me was too, <laughs> a shifting point in, in, in my life. So what's the legacy? You know, uh, what's, you, you said we, we have some, we, we, we now have a different view a little bit. Like there's young women involved. But people think that's a recent thing, but not really. No, not really. Um, it, and more so in our traditional programs, Cub Scouts, Scouts BSA, yeah. it was 2018, 2019. But uh -huh. uh, girls have been in our program since 1971 with adventure and exploring. So Yeah. Um, so while we think of it as a, a, a new thing, it's they, they've been in a different program this whole time. Right, right. Yeah. And what we found was uh, girls have been participating in our programs, but as siblings. So they're doing all the same things, but not earning the recognition. Right. Um, it's We don't have a gender-specific a program sure. so it's something that they've been wanting to do we did a lot of research on it and you know what scouting is for everybody so this was the right move so where is scouting going you know things that things all things are evolving so what's what's the future of scouting looking like um well, i'd like to say strong i mean especially in this area we're, we're growing again uh, we're making sure those opportunities are, are there for our, all kids to join. Mm -hmm. We have an amazing board uh, with a lot of great resources, a lot of support in the community. So it's important, and we're going to keep pushing forward. And you mentioned your board. What? Uh, how does the board influence the vision for this council? Uh, we have a, a great board, a very active board of about 50 members, and, you know, they bring their Some of us come to meetings. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm coming, I swear. I'm coming. <laughs> well, you know, and, and everybody has their different expertise, sure. their skill sets, backgrounds. Right. Um, some are, were part of scouts, like right. yourself. Some are brand new to scouting, 
um, but really appreciate our mission and our ideals and what we're trying to do. Yeah, and you all have kind of uh, invented a new fundraising thing every uh, that you started last year. Tell us a little bit about the Cornhole Tournament. Yes, the Downtown Throwdown Cornhole yeah. Tournament. Uh, that was a blast. It, it was, really was. It was a lot of fun. It was held at uh, Flying Heart Brewing in, in West Monroe, so yeah. we're going to do that again. Great. It's going to be Saturday, April 29th. Okay. So registration at, at noon, bags fly at 1.00. Double elimination. It, it's it's just a lot of fun. And and just to be clear, you know, I don't care really who wins as long as we beat Monroe Chamber, and then everything after that <laughs> was fine. Right. So I got my satisfaction. But those proceeds go to what inside of Scotty? It all stays local. It helps our council operations from um, helping kids go to camp to. Um, Camp improvements, sure. or just uh, more opportunities to join. Now you mentioned camp improvements. Tell us about those camps that you have inside the council. Sure. So our closest one up to here is Camp T.L. James in Downsville. Mm -hmm. um, it's about twelve hundred acres. Wow, that's yeah, big, big, big area. We also have a camp that's about one hundred and fifty acres down in Gina. Mm -hmm. uh, it's at Takapa. Mm -hmm. So we run programs pretty consistently out of both between weekend camping and and uh, there's different uh, adventures and programs. And I would imagine around. heavy in summer. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We do summer camp at both camps. So how um, how can people contribute if they want to? How can people get involved with scouting? What's what's the best way to to, to reach out? So a couple things. If you're, it's never too late to join. So if you have a child that you know wants to check it out, mm -hmm. go to beascout.org and okay. type in your zip code because that's going to show you all the packs and troops in your area. Okay. But if you just want to learn more about us, our council, and mm -hmm. ways you can get involved, go to our website. Uh, it's LouisianaPurchaseCouncil.org. Okay. And what if they don't find a, a local, a true local? Because you have a huge geography that you serve. Mm -hmm. what, what do they do then? It's not, that's not out. You're not out. Right. And, and yeah, okay, it's actually, there's a few communities where we didn't, we don't have current programs. Right. And mm -hmm. a lot of that was because of COVID, different sure. reasons. But um, we're working on bringing those back. There's a few areas, more just recently, we started brand new programs. Mm -hmm. So we will help families in a community start a new program if they want to. That's awesome. So, Bob, t tell me, you know, truly you have this beautiful history in Boy Scouts. What brings you joy in your job? It's, you know, there's a lot of behind-the-scenes work, but when we get out, out and see the kids in action yeah. and see what they're learning, it means a lot. And I have two boys in the program myself. One's in third grade, one's in eighth grade, and yeah. they love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah and they feel engaged. Mm -hmm. And so seeing that that next generation go forward. Right. Um, and, you know, we've moved around a lot as a family, but one constant for them has been scouting. They can just jump right into a program wherever we go, and it feels like home. Oh, I didn't even think about, like, letting them have the edge of reforming friendships every new place. Mm -hmm. Scouting is that, well, at least we have that in common and let them read. That's, that's right. brilliant. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, if anybody wants to uh, find out more about the council, give us that information again. So LouisianaPurchaseCouncil.org. Okay. Thanks, Bob. We appreciate what you're doing in our community. We appreciate that you contribute so much to the quality of life and, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm proud that that legacy of scouting is continuing so far into the future. If you want to find out more about Boy Scouts or uh, any of our awesome members, you can go to our website, westmanerchamber.org. If you want to find out more about being a member and being in that great group that we have, find out more online or call us at 325-1961. Thanks for joining this episode of West Monroe West Washington Chamber Chats.